Alright guys, in this video, I want to show you how to make a confirmation box and what this is going to do is it's going to demonstrate how you can have multiple windows communicate with one another. So in the last example, I showed you guys how to create a simple alert box. You click this button, it opens up a new window and the user can close it, whatever. Now that's great for simple messages, but say that that new window, that new pop-up was a settings window and maybe it changed something in the main program or maybe you gave the user a choice or maybe like a confirmation do you want to do that yes or no well whenever they perform that action on that pop-up you need a way to return data back into your main program so right now again what this did is it popped up a window a completely new island separate from the main event they did their thing and came back here but there was no communication between the two so let's go ahead and learn how to do that so I'm going to make an entirely new class and I'll just name it confirm box and what this program is going to do is just let me rearrange everything is it's going to be just like an alert box but I'll show you guys but instead of just popping up a window and they can close it it's going to give them two buttons I'll say like um like are you sure you want to send naked pictures to your ex-girlfriend and I'll have two buttons yes and no so they can click either one of those and depending on which one they click it's gonna take that and return it back here into your main program so I don't know like you can do whatever you want with it so that's what this is gonna do and of course the main shell of it is gonna be really similar to alert box so we'll just copy this for now and stick it right in confirm box of course it's giving us an error because this class is not named alert box it's named confirm box and alright so now we can get rid of this and the first thing I want to do in confirm box is just clean everything up get rid of these comments and we're gonna have that label still and this is remember the button to close it so we don't need that anymore because that's not what this program is going to do and also alright so we pretty much have let me make sure everything looks good alright so right now this pop-up is just um, a blank window with a little bit of text in it so the text will of course be your message like are you sure you want to do that um maybe I don't know just whatever you want to ask the user so again what I'm gonna do eventually is I'm gonna make two buttons and one of them is gonna be yes and one of them is gonna be no or you can make them true or false whatever but we need a variable a boolean variable to store that answer so I'll just say um uh, actually I don't even need a comment this is really easy so static boolean I'll say answer so we'll actually make that program and say, are you sure you want to send naked pictures to your girlfriend? Because, I don't know, why not? It's funny. So we first need to create two buttons. Give myself a little bit more room. Uh -uh -uh. All right. So the first button, we'll say that this is the yes button. So whenever they click this, we want it to return true. And the text for this would just be yes and copy this because you know I don't have like four seconds to type the word button and we'll call the second one a no button in the text on this will just be no might as well capitalize so this might look a little bit better alright so we have two buttons now after this we need to add some functionality so for the yes button what we want to do is we want to set on action right here now remember Whenever you're using lambdas, if you just have one line of code like system out print, then what you can do is you can just stick it right here on one line. It'll work fine. However, if you ever have multiple lines of code that you can run, what you do there is you stick them in between curly braces. So essentially, this is um, a really quick way of like making a method, and your method body, just like any other method, goes in between curly brackets or curly braces whatever you want to call them so what happens whenever the user clicks the yes button 
Well, the first thing we want to do is we want to set the answer variable to yes. So answer, whoa, easy cursor. Set this equal to true, not yes, tomato, tomato. And after that, after they click the button, then all we're going to do is for the window, which is the pop-up window, we're going to close it. And we can just copy this and do the pretty much the same thing for the no button. So the no button is going to work really similar. So whenever they click the no button, of course, the answer then is going to be false, but you close the window as well. Now, of course, we need to add the uh, buttons to the layout. So yes button and no button, boom, good to go. Now, one other thing we need to do is this. Right here, we created a variable to store the answer. Right here, we said whenever they clicked one of the buttons, then we're going to set the answer variable equal to either true or false, depending on which button they clicked. Now, after this display method, this is actually not going to return void. This is going to return a Boolean variable, this answer right here. And it's giving us error because it's saying, all right, when all of your little pop-up program is done running, you actually need to return that answer. So we're going to return answer, which at this point in time is going to be equal to true or false. So now, if we go in, what did I do? This is from the old tutorial. All right. Now what we can do is we can call confirm box display and we can just pass in title of window before and we'll say are you sure want to send naked pics alright good enough so remember what this method does is it not only creates this pop-up box but it also whenever they close it it gets their answer and it returns it to you so instead like before whenever we just use a static method call we actually need to take the results of this and we can store it in a variable so now whatever this returns we're gonna store in the variable result so you now have that data passed from one window to another and from here you can do whatever you want with it for this little demo I'm just gonna print it out so system out print line result so again this is just gonna print out on my uh, little command line so let me run this hopefully if it works alright so click me it'll launch confirm box are you sure you want to send naked pics yes closes it and check it out it returns true same thing with false when you click no I'm gonna hit no and it outputs false do it again boom check it out so that is how you communicate from one window to another again if you just want a little I don't know like alert box a little message you want to display you're probably going to use a class like this however if you ever want to get input from the user and pass it along into your main program you're going to want to use confirm box so there you go pretty simple once you break everything down and uh, yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed and by the way if there's anything specific you want me to cover regarding JavaFX then let me know and I'll make sure to uh, make a tutorial on that. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. See you later.